I think women, peace, and security is a lot more than we take it to be. I think a lot of people view it as let's increase the participation of women. And while yes, that's absolutely important, I think WPS more broadly gives you a whole new view of the world. Uh, so in my lecture, I was talking about the relationship between the ways in which women are subjugated and then how that translates into subpar national outcomes. And that's the kind of lenses that we need to understand the true power of women, peace and security. These types of events are crucial. Uh, the, the reason is, is that I, I think more and more our, our meetings are all over Zoom, but the chance to actually come together in person, meet the people behind the face on the Zoom screen, talk more informally about what they're doing and, uh, and what their needs are. I mean, that's what builds a community. Uh, and that, that's also, I think, what uh, builds uh, uh, shared vision, as well as an understanding of some of the most innovative and best practices out there. We've only just been treated to, to uh, Dr. Yamin's presentation, and already I have learned uh, things that I did not know before. Uh, and so uh, the various uh, nations that um, allow women in combat, as versus those that conscript women. I've never seen such a nice compilation of data before in one place. And so even though we're, we're only uh, an hour or two into the symposium, I've already got notes. Yeah, I, I think just more broadly, I'd like to make the appeal that if you want to understand the causes of national insecurity, if you want to be more effective at promoting security of nation states, I really think that what's going on with Fully half of the population has got to be part and parcel of what we study. We need to understand these linkages to have the best situational awareness that we can and to understand how ameliorating the situation of women may have follow-on effects to many of the things we care about.